My jealous sister-in-law wore a white gown to my wedding so I ruined her dress. My sister-in-law has always acted kind of cold toward me, but I never thought her jealous behavior would ever go this far. I started dating my husband five years ago, and we've been engaged for about a year and a half now. I get along with everyone in my husband's family except for his younger sister, Alyssa, who is currently 20 years old. The rest of his family was always welcoming and polite to me, but every time I see her, she gave me dirty looks and talked to whoever was around me instead of talking straight to me. She has such an annoying habit of speaking directly to my husband while I'm standing right next to him. This literally happens every time I see her, so much so that I asked my husband about Alyssa's behavior one day. All he said was that she had always been really attached to him while growing up since he was her only big brother. Look, I have siblings, too, but I don't let my attachments to them lead me to disrespect their partners. Alyssa is very reliant on my husband and calls him almost every day and gets upset if he doesn't stay on the phone with her for at least an hour. Even though it was an on-ongoing issue in our marriage, I just let her bullshit tea slide since it was really the only problem in my relationship. I figured Alyssa was just young and needy, and that her treatment of me and her clinginess to my husband might improve with age. Well looks like I was completely wrong, because the minute my husband and I got engaged, her behavior got 100% worse. For example, when my husband and I held a dinner at our house to announce our engagement, Alyssa burst out in tears the moment we shared the happy news. Mind you, this is a 20-year-old woman crying her eyes out at my dinner table, saying that she was never gonna see her big bro again at one point, she even said, she doesn't deserve this poop. My husband's mom just took her home after congratulating us, but she basically ruined the entire dinner out of her own selfishness. During the wedding planning, Alyssa would act the same, self-absorbed way if I tried to include her in anything. I tried to invite her to try on bridesmaid dresses, but she spent the whole time texting my husband and FaceTiming her friends at full volume. It was ridiculous, there she was in the dress shop surrounded by me and my friends, and she was talking loudly on the phone to her friends about how effing bored she was and how she'd rather be anywhere else. I started to get incredibly annoyed with Alyssa's worsening treatment of me so I stopped including her in anything until the wedding. After she wasn't invited to my bachelorette party, she called my husband sobbing, claiming that I was bullying her. Honestly, I overheard this call, and hearing my husband baby his grown sister over the phone made my skin crawl. Apparently, Alyssa was demanding that I apologize to her for not inviting her, but when my husband told me this, I laughed, thinking he was joking. I took this opportunity to tell my husband how sick I was of her immature bullshit, tea, and that I didn't want to hear about her again until after the wedding. He seemed frustrated with me, and that week he spent a lot of time on the phone with her. Whatever, I had wedding planning to do anyway. Like I said, Alyssa is really the only topic my husband and I disagree on, so I plan to let sleeping dogs lie until after the wedding. I hadn't heard from Alyssa in weeks before the day of our wedding, and I should have known that she was planning another selfish stunt to make another day all about her. I just never thought she would be so cruel and bold about it. The only thing worse about what she did to me on the day of my wedding, was my husband's reaction. Update 1, in my initial post, I went into detail about my sister-in-law's extreme jealousy towards me and her clingy nature towards my husband. She had always been nasty to me, and whenever the attention was on me, she would make a scene to get it back on her. She and my husband are very close, and they spend an hour on the phone every day, if not, she becomes upset. Honestly, looking back, I see all the red flags, and I should have put my foot down about Alyssa long before the wedding. Anyway, the weeks before the wedding, I hadn't heard from Alyssa, and I was busy preparing things for the big day. My husband and I were super excited, and it felt like there was nothing that could ruin the day for us. Boy, was I wrong, as long as Alyssa was in attendance, our wedding was getting destroyed. The day of my wedding, I woke up ecstatic, I had no idea how painfully the day would end. I was in the dressing room getting my makeup done when Alyssa arrived, all my bridesmaids were in good moods, all getting ready and supporting me. When Alyssa arrived, she bragged about how she had spent her last two paychecks on her dress because she needed to look her best for my special day. I will never forget the smug smile that spread across her face when she unzipped her dress bag and revealed a long white gown. It looked exactly like a wedding dress. I could barely react. Yet again, Alyssa was trying to steal my thunder and I was in shock at her audacity. Before I could ever respond, my maid of honor, who is also my best friend, started laying into her. She screamed at Alyssa for thinking she could wear a wedding dress to her own sister-in-law's wedding and called her a selfish, crazy beach. Alyssa looked at me and said, are you really gonna let her talk to me that way? All I said was yup, and Alyssa grabbed her dress and ran out crying like a child. I texted my mother-in-law to ask her to try and get her under control, and she said she would try and find her. Anyway, I figured that was the end of that, though I was sorely mistaken. I didn't see any of my wedding guests until it was time for me to walk down the aisle. I wish so bad I had double-checked that Alyssa had changed or gone home. Because she wholly ruined this moment for me. They opened the curtains for me to walk out, and of course, the very first thing my eyes went to was Alyssa, standing in the front row with her ridiculous white gown splayed out over the other guests' feet. When I met her gaze, she gave me that same smug, hateful smile, knowing I had no choice but to continue the ceremony with her standing there in a effing wedding dress. Update 2 
I read my vows with tears in my eyes, but they weren't tears of happiness. I felt Alyssa's evil eyes burning holes in my back my entire time up at the altar. She truly robbed me of what should have been one of the happiest moments of my life. After we walked out to my reception, I made a beeline to Alyssa, who was still in her gown, and asked her what the hell she thought she was doing. She literally laughed in my face and said, Oh did I hit a nerve? I deserve to feel beautiful one last time before you take my brother away from me forever, okay? I told her she was embarrassing herself, and please go change or leave the venue. She started raising her voice at me, saying she was there for my husband, not his old hag. This comment pushed me over the edge, I walked away to try and calm down and saw my husband heading towards us. I thought he was coming to comfort me, but I guess I shouldn't have been surprised when he walked right past me and took a crying Alyssa into a tight hug. I just looked at my husband, realizing I had no sadness left inside me, just rage. He held her tightly and stroked her hair, I could see him glancing over at me and then looking at her and saying, sorry. I had it, I had it with both of them. We had a type of lukewarm tomato soup served at our wedding called gazpacho. I was numb, I didn't care about my marriage, any wedding, or any social norms anymore. I walked over to the huge bowl of soup and picked it up. I carried it over to Alyssa and my husband, and I tossed the entire bowl over both of them. Alyssa screamed at the top of her lungs as the soup destroyed her big gaudy dress. If I hadn't been so numb, I would have burst out laughing. My husband yelled at me and immediately started cleaning his sister off. I just turned on my heels and walked out of my own wedding. I took an Uber to a hotel and turned off my phone. It was one of the most depressing moments of my life, laying there on the crappy hotel bed in my wedding dress. The only thing I could do was cry, I knew I had flown off the handle and made a scene, but as soon as my husband walked past me to comfort his sister, I knew our relationship was over anyway. I'm going to reach out to my friends and a divorce lawyer tomorrow, I may have broken a record for the shortest marriage ever. My jealous sister-in-law wore a white gown to my wedding so I ruined her dress, God I read my vows with tears in my eyes, but they weren't tears of happiness. I felt Alyssa's evil eyes burning holes in my back my entire time up at the altar. She truly robbed me of what should have been one of the happiest moments of my life. After we walked out to my reception, I made a beeline to Alyssa, who was still in her gown, and asked her what the hell she thought she was doing. She literally laughed in my face and said, Oh did I hit a nerve? I deserve to feel beautiful one last time before you take my brother away from me forever, okay? I told her she was embarrassing herself, and please go change or leave the venue. She started raising her voice at me, saying she was there for my husband, not his old hag. This comment pushed me over the edge, I walked away to try and calm down and saw my husband heading towards us. I thought he was coming to comfort me, but I guess I shouldn't have been surprised when he walked right past me and took a crying Alyssa into a tight hug. I just looked at my husband, realizing I had no sadness left inside me, just rage. He held her tightly and stroked her hair, I could see him glancing over at me and then looking at her and saying, sorry. I had it, I had IT with both of them. We had a type of lukewarm tomato soup served at our wedding called gazpacho. I was numb, I didn't care about my marriage, any wedding, or any social norms anymore. I walked over to the huge bowl of soup and picked it up. I carried it over to Alyssa and my husband, and I tossed the entire bowl over both of them. Alyssa screamed at the top of her lungs as the soup destroyed her big gaudy dress. If I hadn't been so numb, I would have burst out laughing. My husband yelled at me and immediately started cleaning his sister off. I just turned on my heels and walked out of my own wedding. I took an Uber to a hotel and turned off my phone. It was one of the most depressing moments of my life, laying there on the crappy hotel bed in my wedding dress. The only thing I could do was cry, I knew I had flown off the handle and made a scene, but as soon as my husband walked past me to comfort his sister, I knew our relationship was over anyway. I'm going to reach out to my friends and a divorce lawyer tomorrow, I may have broken a record for the shortest marriage ever.